Well, hello, I'm Joe Merlo, president of Energy Automation Systems, and I'm about to do for you a demonstration of one of our products, the Easy Liner. And this is one of the demonstrations that has not changed very much since we started the company 25 years ago. Now, of course, everybody has their own style and their own way of communicating, and I don't expect you to remember word for word everything I say, but I follow the same methodology each time I do this demonstration and that's really what I want you to notice. The methodology that I use to demonstrate the Easy Liner. It's quick, it's dramatic, it gets the client's attention, it establishes your credibility and it's the one demonstration we do most often in the field for clients. There are many others you can do but this is the quickest and the most dramatic and the one that you should practice doing uh, before you present it to a client. It's very easy, as you'll see. The contents of your dealer demonstration kit consist of a motor, an easy liner, and a meter. Now, this is an amp probe or a clap-around ammeter. You should carry with you also a short extension cord so you can plug into a, a nearby outlet to have available electricity for the motor. And if, we were, if I were demonstrating in a client's office, before I place the motor down onto his desk or conference table, I would make sure I had a brochure or a piece of carpet even that you can carry with you and place the motor on top of it lest you do any damage to his desk or, or conference table. And show some consideration, some courtesy by doing the same with the Easy Liner. <clears throat> Once I've got the, the components on his desk, I introduce the characters. And rather than introduce this as a motor, that is rated for 4.1 amps, 1725 RPM, single phase, quarter horsepower, 120 volts. I will simply create some word pictures and describe this not as a quarter horsepower motor, but as his production equipment, his air conditioning, his refrigeration, his elevator motors, whatever, whatever you know in the, that's in the building that would have a motor. That's what I describe this as. This is his equipment. It's anything in his building that has an AC motor. This I do not describe as a clamp around ammeter. I simply refer to this as an electrician's tool. It's used to measure electricity. And that's exactly the way we're going to use it. And here's a technology that we sometimes recommend to our clients. It will save energy on this motor by making it more efficient. Now, I don't say we're definitely going to recommend something like this because theoretically we're not supposed to know until we have first done a detailed examination of the facility. So I, I show this as an example, as representative of the kinds of things we look for to increase the efficiency of his electrical system. Whether or not this would be something we'd actually recommend to him, we won't know that yet until we first have done a detailed examination. But it's typical of the kinds of things we look for. It's passive, and it saves electricity and money by increasing the efficiency of something else. <clears throat> I plug the motor into the extension cord, and when I do, I will take a reading at the motor to see how much electricity it's using. And it looks to be about oh, a little bit over four, four and a half. And notice I don't even refer to that as amperage, especially, especially if the client's non-technical. He's looking at that, he's seeing dollars. And so in his mind, it's four and a half dollars. Now if I measure the other wire, it will also show the same amperage, four and a half amps. And to someone, again, who's not technical, he might think, well, if, if I measured both wires at the same time, four and a half plus four and a half should equal nine. Well, they don't, because one wire is negative and the other is positive. And if I measure both wires at the same time, they cancel each other out, and it would show zero. So I suggest you choose one wire over the other. It doesn't matter which one, just one wire that shows four and a half amps. This outlet is in, is in line with the motor so I can connect my, my equipment close to it, close to the motor, which is where it normally gets installed in a facility, close to the load. Otherwise, there's nothing else magical about the socket. The other side of the wire, which goes out to the extension cord, goes out to the electric meter, and that's, this is what I'm paying for down here. And if I measure how much electricity I'm paying for, you'll notice it's the same four and a half amps. So both wires, four and a half. So the motor's getting four and a half, and that's how much I'm paying for, no surprises. 
Now I install my equipment and I encourage the, the client to listen carefully to the sound of this motor as I connect my equipment. And let me know if you hear any change in the way this motor is operating. Our equipment is connected. Usually when we ask the customer, he hears no, no change in the sound of the motor, no change in the RPM, no change in horsepower. It's getting the same electricity it did a minute ago. And after reaffirming that, I also proceed to show it. I can prove it. The motor is still getting four and a half amps of electricity. Either wire, four and a half amps. So that in and of itself may not be too impressive. But if I come down here now and I measure how much we're buying from the electric company through the extension cord, that shows an entirely different picture. It looks to be about two. So that's over a 50% reduction in amperage. And that will usually elicit a holy cow or sometimes worse from the client. And I give them a moment to stew in the afterglow of this demonstration. And then I'll point out to him that I'm not promising to lower his electric bill by 50 or 60 percent, especially as a result of only one technology. On his larger motors, three phase under load, we'd be looking for reductions in amperage of maybe 10 to 30 percent in that range. And by the way, after he's seen this, I'll ask him to hold on to the amp probe himself. And while he's looking at the meter, I'll disconnect the equipment. And he'll see it go back up again to where it was before. It's now four and a half. And while he's watching, I'll reconnect the equipment and he can watch it go down. And I'll ask, which would you rather have? And always they say that, which of course means that he's going to buy. And that's the idea of doing the demonstration. Okay, that's it. Thank you.